So about three weeks ago, I did a YouTube short and I said, I'm doing this experiment to see what happens to a YouTube channel. Whenever you post a YouTube short every day for 30 days, will it grow your channel? Will you get more views, more subscribers? Will you make more money off of ad revenue if you're monetizing your YouTube channel. And I said at the end, I'm going to do a recap. Well, this is said recap. I'm going to show you exactly what happened during this 30 days. I'm going to show you if it grew my channel, what happened, what it looks like, and all that kind of stuff. So before we get into it, do me a favor. If you find this video to be helpful, please hit like on it and maybe the subscribe. I do different types of health and fitness videos several times a week. I know this isn't a health and fitness video, but please, if it's helpful, hit the subscribe and like on it anyway. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to show you my back end. I got to be careful for my phrasing. I'm going to show you what my YouTube studio dashboard looks like much better. Let's go. Okay. So we're in my YouTube studio dashboard, looking specifically at the content. And I really started this challenge around January 7th. You can see uh, I had a couple before that. So here's the seventh. I had a short on the third, but for the every day for 30 days, I started on the seventh and you can actually see here seventh, eighth, ninth, uh, there's a few of these on the ninth. Now, something to note is I was actually doing two different types of videos during this time frame. So a lot of times these were two a day posts. One was uh, typically a motivational type post, just a quick like 10 second like phrase or something to inspire people, hopefully. And then the other one was I was doing a fitness challenge during this time frame. So I would make a quick post every single day just to say, hey, here's how it went. And so that's important because I'm going to make sure to show you the difference between how those two performed during this 30 days. So something kind of interesting right off the bat is whenever we're looking at these early these early ones, you can see here, this one had 1,200 views, 1,500 views, 1,900 views. And even if we look at the engagement, you can see here, this one had six likes, one like, 72 likes. So we had a little bit of engagement. This one had 34 likes. So this was the first time and actually whenever I was posting YouTube videos where I had a quick hit right as soon as I uploaded something. Normally my longer form videos, People don't even notice it for quite a, a while if they actually notice it at all. So it was really nice to be able to post these and get almost an immediate reaction within 24 hours for sure. But sometimes within 30 minutes, I would see some of these blow up. Um, you can see here as I kind of keep going through here. Now, some of these didn't, which was odd. And I wasn't sure exactly what was going on here at the beginning. Um, this one here had three views and it didn't even, I didn't even put a title on it. So maybe that had something to do with it. Uh, here is a motivational one that had 1500 views. Here is a challenge one. You can see the 30, 30, 30 farmers walk challenge only got 58, not as many, uh, a motivational one for 1200. So definitely in the beginning, what I saw was that my motivational posts, people tended to interact with them more, which then ended up putting it back into the algorithm even more. So more people would see it. So my fitness challenge ones did not get very much traction in the beginning. That actually ends up changing here and I'll show you in a second. So as we go to some more of the videos that I had posted as the, uh, as the month went on. Now, I started to do a few things different in the second half of the month based off of some of the videos that I watched. Like here's one that says, I might be dumb. I got 1600 views with that. 36 people like that. I should take offense to the fact that they all thumbs up me being uh, dumb. But you can see here, day six of the 30, 30, 30 challenge, I ended up getting 1,400, almost 1,500 views. This was one of the first times on the challenge videos that I saw it actually take off. And you'll notice something different in the title. I put a hashtag into the title, and that was because I had watched a couple of videos talking about the importance of putting hashtags in your short titles. And this was the first one I did it, and it took off, the first challenge one to do so. So I did it all the time after that. So we can see here that I got a motivational one after that with 1,200 views. Here is a fitness challenge one. It went nowhere, only 51 views. Um, here was one for me saying I'm doing this particular challenge. Here is a fitness challenge, a motivational challenge. No, YouTube did not care about either one of these. Uh, it didn't take them anywhere, 14. And then it gave me another 19 on a, on a motivational. So I was seeing sort of this sporadic, no real rhyme or reason on what was hitting and what wasn't going to hit. Now, also during this time frame, I think it's important to note that I started to do a new type of uh, creation or, or, or whatever uh, output, which was putting text overlay onto my video. So in fact, this one right here with 1900 views had text overlay. And so did this one right here. You can sort of see it on the little uh, thumbnail, 1900 views. And so what I started to notice was the shorts with text overlay tended to get a uh, better interaction from people that were watching it and more overall views. So I did it quite often after that. As I keep going through here, I still had some hits, some misses. Uh, here is another one. You can see the text overlay got 1,700 total views, 39 total likes. 
And here is another one here, text overlay, 1900. So you can see here, 1900, 1700, both of these had overlays. And these other ones here in between did not. So definitely saw a pattern where text overlay helped get more views. As I scroll up through here, now, actually, here's a good example, though. Here's one with a text overlay that did nothing. Seven total views, just the way that it, it was going sometimes. Um, let me see here. This one was one that wasn't really motivational. It was just sort of like me saying something about hating mornings. People seem to, <laughs> to like that one. I had 58 total likes on that. One of my highest liked ones, even though it didn't get seen as much, still over a thousand times. Here is another one with text overlays, 1,200. Um, so basically what I noticed is, um, here's one where I saw some bald eagles, which was pretty cool. Uh, I, I, I definitely saw a pattern where anything with text overlays seemed to get priority as far as YouTube continuing to show it for a longer amount of time. Uh, I didn't really hit anything over 2000 until this video here, which was a text overlay motivational one. I ended up getting 118 likes and almost 4,000 total views. After that, it really kind of leveled off. I saw one here for 2,000, 1,900, and actually towards the end of the challenge, I saw it actually jump back up again. But just to recap here, what I saw, text overlays seem to get priority and seem to get more interaction from people. I also noticed that the time of day seemed to matter. Whenever I posted something real early in the morning or really late at night, really seemed to be the, the best times. If I posted it at some point in the middle of the day, it just didn't take off. Or if it did, it would be much, much later in the day or even the next day. But I found that the mornings and the night times for me, I would usually see a turnaround within maybe a couple of hours and the video views starting to accrue. So I thought that was pretty interesting as well. So let's do this. Let's take a quick look at the analytics and talk about what did it actually do to my channel. And so now keep in mind, I've been... Um, monetized on YouTube for quite some time, but I make very little money. And by very little, I mean, I'm at a point where I'm making like $300. I actually, it's been about $250 to $300 a month. Um, but let's look at a year's view over what happened here, just a full year. So let's start with the views. Did I get more views during this time frame? Well, you can see here as I scroll my mouse back and forth, this is all last year um, before this challenge started. And you can see daily averaging just over a thousand views a day. You can see here though, visually, it got wild during posting these 30, uh, 30 shorts for 30 days. I mean, as I'm scrolling over here, three and four times more views per day, even, uh, even though I was just kind of guessing at the type of content that I was putting out there, people still watched it. The algorithm worked. So I absolutely got more views. You can actually see, um, visually just what that looks like, how much higher that is. But let's talk about watch time next. Well, it turns out that even though these videos are really small, usually under 10 seconds long, because they're getting seen so many more times, it's it's equaling more hours. And you can see that again represented. If I scroll on this per day, you're looking at 40 to 50 pretty much on average as I scroll through the last year. You can see not just visually, but as I scroll over this now during this time frame. It was up uh, basically at almost doubled during this time frame. Usually it's between 80 and 100, right? Now I want to talk about this thing here in a second, this big leap that I've had. It's important. I'll, I'll show you why in a moment. Let's talk about subscribers. Subscribers. Did I get more subscribers? Well, again, if I look at the last year and I scroll over this, some days one, two, some days zero. Rarely did I get a double digit. Or there was one somewhere hidden in there, but even a zero, right? But now let's look at here. This is the area where... I got the 3030 going. And you can see here, even visually it looks higher, but as I scroll through this, a lot of double digit days, right? There was a minus one, but like there was a 16, uh, let's see here, it kind of slowed down, but definitely an increase daily on the number of subscribers that I was getting simply by posting these, um, these 10 second shorts each day. Now let's talk about the money aspect of it. Did I make more money? Well, Yes, let's take a quick look at what happened over the course of the past year. You can see on a daily average, $6, $7, $8. If we go to right whenever I started doing the challenge, it became a lot more double digits. You can see here, there's an 11, there's a 10, there's a 10, there's a 10, there's a 12, there's a 16. So did I make more money during this time frame per day? I absolutely did. So posting this for 30 days, these videos for 30 days, it increased my views, it increased my hours watched, it increased my subscriber count, and it increased my overall money that I was making. Not a lot, but I wasn't making anyway, so 
it's actually quite a bit considering I was making a very small amount regardless. So um, definitely helped the channel grow during this 30 days. But there's something here that I want to show you. If you take a look at this, you can see here at the very end, this big jump, right? And I think that you probably be able to see it here as well on the hours watched. This isn't a short. This is an actual long form video that I've shot. And the reason that I wanted to show you this, I, I shot this probably a year ago and all of a sudden YouTube has picked it up and is now pumping it out there as like one of its main videos of, of its particular type. The reason that this is important is because as much work as I was doing each of these 30 days for doing a short every single day or sometimes two shorts, I am currently making more money on this one video that I only shot once and posted. So like today, or maybe it was yesterday, I guess today, 26, almost $30 yesterday, comparative to when I was doing these every day. And sometimes I'd make nine or $10 per day, but I was having to post every single day. This video right now that's popping for me is making me 25, 26, up to $30 a day. And I'm not doing any more work on it. I just posted it once. So the thing that you have to remember with these shorts is that once you post it and it goes through the algorithm, and people see it and then YouTube shelves it, the chances of it ever coming back are basically minimal. You're not putting a lot of work into it. It's only a 10 second video, but if you're doing this every single day, that starts to add up. Whereas a long form video, kind of like this one here, it's gonna take me longer to make, but there's a better chance that at some point, YouTube's gonna see this and go, well, people are interested in whatever it's talking about. Let's put it back in and people can see this. I can make more money off of this type of video long-term than I can a short long-term. If I want short-term, I'll do shorts. If I wanna make more money quickly within the next 30 days, I'm probably gonna concentrate on shorts. But the bigger money, at least in this range that I'm looking at right now, is on the long-term videos that people can come back and watch. Now, look, if I had a, a YouTube short go viral, there's a good chance that I could very well be making a different type of video. If I got 10,000 or 20,000 or 100,000 views on one of mine, the money might be way different. But I'm sort of talking about the averages of what I saw and sort of what I expect. I expect that whenever I post a video a short right now, it's going to get basically what I got here. I'm not getting any viral and most of us are not going to get a viral type of video. So I think these are sort of the expectations that you can, well, what you can expect to see if you decide to post more shorts. So that's it. I just want to kind of show you what happened to my channel during this time frame. Hopefully it helps you decide if it's worth it for you to do. Uh, I did think that it was a good idea. It doesn't take a lot of time to do and it did help me make more money and get more subscribers and it just grew my channel during this time frame. I don't think long-term it's as effective as, as long-term videos, but um, they're very easy to make and very quick and take very little effort, um, you know, just a couple of minutes per day. So that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks y'all for hanging out with me during these 30 days while I post each of these. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment. That's it. Please subscribe if this was helpful. We'll see you on the next video. Peace out.